Okay. All right. We are back from from not playing Silent Hill three to getting back to playing Silent Hill three. Um, still haven't released any videos yet. We're just continuing. Yeah. It feels better this way. I like this. It feels better to play it without having released it. Yeah. Why is that? Um. I don't know because it feels there's no outside influences on us. You're pu- we're pure. We're pure right now. But do I the, do. Did the last two games not count as outside influences? Um. Both. Well, I feel like both games. Uh, like Silent, like you probably don't remember Silent Hill One. We played like half of that game before we started releasing the videos. Yeah, and what a surprise that was. <laughs> that was fun. I do have to uh, genuinely apologize before we get started. That um, at the end of the last episode, we there was a point in our first recording session where we um, restarted, um, or we like we reloaded a save, like we killed ourselves or something. And um, at the like, very, very beginning, much right? later realized that there had been a bunch of uh... oh god, I forget what I'm doing here. Basically, we realized that there was a bunch of stuff that we did that we forgot about that we then um, lost when we reloaded the game. And my intention was to go and look at the footage and try to at least get all of that stuff on our map before we continued. And I didn't do uh, my Silent Hill three homework. So we're just kind of where we are. And I think we actually are reloading again now. So my bad. Uh, I'm sure that we'll, we'll be forgiven. I'm sure that they'll be gracious. Yep. No one will be mad. Everyone's going to say you did a good job. Great, grace really is the, uh, I would say... The defining the, factor the, of something awful for him. It's, it's really the defining characteristic of, of Silent Hill fans, I uh, think. Okay. The internet right, in general, the, the, known, the, known for grace. The, the mysterious walnut we've uh, recovered once again. Was there not two walnuts? No, just one. What's this? That a thing? No. All right. There's lots of... um. Or there's at least a few bodies on stretchers here, which we mentioned kind of goes back to the motif of uh, Silent Hill 1, because that had, like, hospital stuff all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a mall, not a place where you normally see a body on a stretcher covered now, in a sheet. At this point, um, in Silent Hill 1, uh, y- your immediate goal was to find your daughter. And then in yeah. Silent Hill 2, your immediate goal was looking for your wife. Does she have, like, a goal at no. this point? She's just kind of... She's just like, kind of there. Like, wondering what's going on and trying to get out of the mall. And what I, uh... What I realized after we stopped recording last time that I don't think we noticed was that, um... This is the first time in a Silent Hill game where you're not immediate, Where you don't start out... In a car. At, no, you don't start out, like, in the town. Oh, right. Like Unless you, this is the town. Well, no, we're in Silent Hill... I could only imagine. But, like, we haven't, like, walked the streets of Silent Hill. Oh, okay, yeah. Whoa, what the fuck is... What? That's just a dead thing. It looks like a monster that you've already killed. But that does make sense. It does. We killed that. that but ha- they don't They don't stay on the ground. They disappear, and then maybe, more ones... Maybe they do now. Maybe. maybe. That's, this seems new. This does seem new. I'm not going to be surprised if that thing comes to life and tries to kill me. That's all I'm saying. The one that was outside? No, this thing right here. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't Ooh, be surprised. It's like right a here. dog. Oh, come on. That's so obvious. What is it? A barbecue dog? Who the hell Who would even... For... <laughs> Furthermore... For... And also, his he looks like a, he has a pig snout. Please read my thesis on the weirdly Cookie. barbecued dog in the Nightmare Mall. So I walk away and then it wakes up, right? How does that... That has to happen, right? No. Okay. It's not. Is there something else on that table? Not going for cheap-ass jump scares. Well done. Son. I thought I, I saw something you. on that table. Wait. What's up? Which uh, maybe it was just silverware. Yeah, there's like a glass, like a wine glass or something. <laughs> I guess the odds that there would be multiple... Oh, is that a health drink? Health drink? Nice. 
and a first aid kit. You're rolling. Rolling. On E. That's all the health drinks are, but it's just E. When you said rolling on E, I immediately thought of like someone who was like driving a car <laughs> with their with their gas meter on E for empty. <laughs> that was where my mind went. Uh, that's because your drug of choice is mescaline. True. It's also because I drive like six hours in one day, like once a week. So yeah. my car gets to E pretty regularly. Yeah. And this was our um Your car gets pretty good mileage. Right? I think it I, feels I think like it gets it like standard mileage, I think. Yeah, I remember piling up three hundredth day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard, and the final destination has become real, though not a blessed beginning. So also, um there was we found at the at the end of our last recording session that there was like a door that let us go into a room that wasn't marked as a door on the map so now I feel like I have to literally try every door that I find I mean that sneak past can I oh can I do this this is Silent Hill you can kind of you you try every door anyway yeah but I I feel like when you're in a mall there's so many doors that yeah. if they're not putting it on the map, it means like, listen, we know Amal there's so many doors. Don't even bother with the ones we don't put on the map. But here, not the case. Is this the... Uh... A mall is basically just a series of doors. Wow. That's deep. That's really deep. And you know what? Life is a series of malls. <laughs> <laughs> Preach. You remember when we were playing Silent Hill 1 and everyone yeah. told us that if we turned off our light, there would be a lower chance that monsters would come and harass us and yes. we didn't find it to be true? Yes. Maybe they were thinking of like this game. Maybe. Where'd the dog go? He's in your nightmares, bro. This, I, I think I hear it over here. Here's another thing. Remember we were playing Silent Hill 1? Sneaking. Remember we were playing Silent Hill 1? And uh, we didn't have. Wait, a is this a is this a is this a clip show? <laughs> is that? What, are you in a Remember clip show? that time? <laughs> Quick, everyone, look in a direction. Don't even get me started on that time we got in that elevator and there was a fourth floor suddenly. Yeah. What were you we say? This. Remember where we were playing Silent Hill One, and like. Our, uh, our headphone splitter that we were using gave one of us the left channel and one of us the right channel and we had to try to like triangulate <laughs> where the monsters were yeah. yeah that was pretty fun man our video setup has come a long way since then yeah although in some ways uh, there's really nothing here oh I guess there's a bunch of doors I haven't tried in there so I should probably go do that well you've tried them you just haven't tried them this time probably Maybe I'll try to go and at least look at... What? You just, like, ignoring those dinosaurs? Yeah, I'm gonna ignore those dinosaurs. There was something in there before, in that room. Have you been in that room was already? Was there? Yeah. Oh, man. On the table or something? I don't remember. I think I went this way already. Or not. Oh, hey. Okay. Big hands. We're gonna take a look. Silent Hill was one of those games where when you looked at the map, the game didn't pause. Ooh. That's a new thing. We're gonna, gonna go in. <laughs> I'm gonna finish out this hallway before I go in there. Well, because last time, we didn't have the cooked key, and we couldn't get anywhere. We were just totally stuck. Yeah, I guess there was just one door that we missed that was that room that gave us the cooked key. Yeah, I remember this, and this doesn't doesn't work and this might unlock no that's everything right got it there's that one door that wasn't on the map wait she was looking at the thing on the wall or, yeah is oh, that, she one, was is that door the... that that's one of the doors that's not on the map what yeah oh oh no it is it is but it's a door that you can go through we got it yeah we got we've it. already got that one though Why 
watching you play the game and look at the map, it's weird because you know exactly where you are and where the doors are because you're looking at it and playing it. But to me, like, there's like this weird disconnect where like I can't apply the map to what you're doing. Nice. Fuck yeah, I got a steel Wait, pipe. We already had the steel pipe. No, that was in the dream. Oh. Oh, by the way, I did go back and record the footage of finishing out the dream. Remember we were like on the train tracks and fell off the train tracks. Yeah. It's just like if you walk further along the train tracks, eventually it just switches to a cutscene of a train coming and then like she gets hit by a train and wakes up. Weird. So that that's what happened there. What if you Instead huh. of continuing... That, I felt like the way that the light hit this thing, that it was for sure like a critical object. Anyways, what were you saying? Uh, what if instead of heading towards the cutscene, you stayed on the train tracks and sat there forever, and that was Silent Hill? You're just like, that's my experience with Man. Silent Hill 3, is that you just stay in that um, beginning dream forever. Keith, maybe it's the, that allergy medicine you took before you got here, but I yeah. think you're deep as fuck today. Yeah. Like, what if you just stood in place... And let Silent Hill go on forever, and like that was Silent Hill. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. So where am I? Okay. So I guess now I can just set about set set about trying every door ever forever. Silent Hill three. That's my Silent Hill. How many? How many? Uh, hits does it take to kill one of those dinosaur walkers? Do we really need to find out? Or... I guess not. I guess that's the place to to do it when there's only going to be one at a time and not four at a time or whatever. Right. Did we get the detergent before? No, we got bleach before. And it didn't work. Do you think detergent I think, works? I think... Do you think you combine detergent with bleach to make poison mustard gas? I, I was just thinking that the secret to getting out of the mall was like we were going to have to do some laundry or something. <laughs> Yeah, this is just the nightmare scenario of a girl that hates chores. Shut that off. I don't know what this switch is, but it's on. Yes. Obviously, that was the only thing here keeping the demons at bay, so... Like, why would they give you the option to turn it off if it wasn't supposed to be off eventually? That, I don't feel like I want to walk through that right now. Do you think that if you turn the thing on, they're gone? Mate, it's a possibility. I think that thing was blowing away the weird things. No, not anymore, I don't. Hmm. Are those bats or are those moths? What are those? They look like moths. They look to like me. moths, but I mean it's Silent Hill, so I don't. Oh, oh. Okay. You're looking uh, for insecticide. Some insecticide. There's somewhere we're gonna find like a recipe for insecticide, detergent, bleach. <laughs> I don't know, I guess, I guess we should turn off, right? Like, it would be really dumb if we came down here and the only thing we did was not turn the fan off and then leave. Do you think the fan is the generator for uh, inverted Silent Hill? And you turn it off and now it's going to be regular. Now, now it has no power? Yeah. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. I guess I could go try to kill one of these. I like that we've decided that they're dinosaurs. They Are they not clearly dinosaurs with their heads cut off? I don't know. 
they're they remind I guess they kind of remind me of Yoshi. That's just because we've been playing Mario World. Look, it's got a tail. It looks like a. Oh, the thing coming out of it is an eye. Yeah. I didn't know that. It looked like half a... So it's like an eye eye in the sore. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's an dinosaur. You know what I actually saw recently? What? I saw Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. That looks good. It's... It's weird. It's not bad. It looked like an entire movie full of dumb food puns. It's unfortunately, it's not quite that. Ah, oh, the it's trailer. Weird. Did the trailer just have every pun in the trailer? Pretty much. Oh, I was sucks. actually going to tell you about that part of the movie where it was. So, I guess Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I mean, it's which a, I never saw. I never saw that either. It's a kids. Well, you know the kids book about it rains food and that like that's about it. And I guess they made a whole story about like a guy, a weatherman. A guy invents a, uh, he invents a machine that turns water into food and then, like, I guess, like, sends it into the atmosphere to make it rain food or something, and then it just goes haywire or something, mm -hmm. and the movie starts with, um, them leaving their home island for six months and then coming back to find that, like, all the food became animals or something. Like, it's almost like Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's like part Jurassic Park, part Lost World, where it's like Lost World, like, they come back to see what has become of their home after leaving it. And it's like all the food has become animals. So there's just this one part where they're seeing all these animals for the first time and it was like. It's like, it looks like shrimp. It looks like a chimpanzee. It's a shrimpanzee. And they're like doing it for all these things. Like, look at this thing. Look at that thing. And they point and it's like a big giant tomato with kind of like a cute face on the front. Like, yeah. what's that? That's just a tomato. And the tomato <laughs> just looks really sad. <laughs> like, I think that was, that was like my favorite joke in the movie. Um, it's weird. There's not like... Um, um, so there's no like... Like, there's no excuse that I can make, like, oh, I, I can go see this because there's a kid with me. Like, if yeah. I went to go see that, it would you, have to be just me. I mean, and, and Megan. Right. Is that where, is it good enough for me to just see it? Uh, probably not for ticket prices, really. I mean, if it was just on Netflix, I'd be like, yeah, sure, take a look. It's weird because, like, the story is kind of poor. Like, I kind of looked at, like, a blurb from a review on Rotten Tomatoes where it says, like, there isn't an ounce of, like, dramatic tension or anything like that, but it just has, like, kind of a... The animation is really good, and it has kind of, like, a it looked, really goofy... It looked really nice. It has a really goofy sense of humor. It, like, I really got this vibe from it of, like, a like a Cartoon Network vibe. Like, it felt like I wasn't watching a movie. It felt like I was watching a 90-minute episode of some show that would be on like before or after Dexter's laboratory or okay. something. I wouldn't be surprised if I went and looked at who wrote that movie and it was like someone who wrote Dexter's laboratory. It was, or something. it was Finn from adventure time wrote that movie. Sure. That's a good show. You ever seen that show? No, that's a good show. I've never seen it. It's a good show. I've heard you tell me that. Yeah. I wanted to see if I could get to this door. What do I do with this shit? Do I have anything? I guess I haven't looked at my inventory. We have that bug spray you picked up. You don't have that. That's okay. okay. I was like, what? You just got my beef jerkies and that's my supplies. Items. Sorry. Okay. Wait, did we lose the bleach? Good sized walnut. That's a good size. It's pretty no, good we still got the bleach. Remember we there was a bloody toilet and we tried to clean the toilet Yeah, yeah, with but the I wasn't bleach. sure if we lost the bleach when we reloaded. No. I get like Where wait, where's the detergent though? I didn't see detergent. It's there. It's do you want to combine it with the bleach? Oh, what's this? Literally nothing. What? It's empty. Why is she looking at it? To fool you. <laughs> Could I do, could I go like, use bleach? Try com 
combining it with the... Oh, that by itself wouldn't do any good. That's kind of interesting. But then... Yeah. What? I said that a while, so long ago. Nice. Does it make poison mustard gas? That's I know it's ammonia and bleach. Yeah, it's ammonia and bleach make poison mustard gas. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you were just being a dick. No. You know, what? You never seen Joe Dirt? Oh, I wonder if the fan was on. Would it just like aerate all around and we would just die or something? We'll test it out. Oh, wait. I don't... Does like... I'm wondering now, like, am I supposed to turn the fan on to, like, get the fumes out so I can go in? Try or... going in now. I... Yay! Yeah, there you go. Puzzle solved. I don't like that. I bet there's a cutscene coming up. I don't like that one bit. I bet you've got a T minus ten for cutscene. Minutes, ten not minutes? seconds. All right, we've got about 10 minutes left in this episode. Let's see if you're right. When you said there was an incoming cutscene, I was like, I don't think so. But if you're giving me 10 minutes, I would almost bet cutscene before 10 minutes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All the hand. I would say, I mean, depending on how fast you get through this, I would say about, I'd say it's in the 7 to 10 minute range. See, now, I, now I'm trying to go faster just to like, prove you wrong. I'm going to get to that cutscene before. Is that the way you came from? I have no idea where I am. Oh, hey. It's a big guy. You should look in that room more. Yeah. Let's not rush things, though. Am I right? I thought you were just talking about trying to rush things. But, I mean, do we really need to rush things when there's a giant monster? Are you afraid room? of that monster? They you don't have, you do not have enough bullets. I totally do. Do you? Check out my bullets. All the bullets. But it takes, like, 15 bullets to kill this guy. It takes, like, a bunch. Well, that's, what's, what's a bunch? 13? Listen, Keith, I don't know, all right? Give me a break. You got a fancy new pipe. Use your pipe. No. Or just leave. I am. I'm just making sure there's nothing of interest in this room. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Is that one of those spinny guys? These things were in that nightmare thing, and we kind of avoided them in the recording. But when I went back to do it again, they cut you there up. was one that kind of got my number, and it was such a bitch. How many bullets did it take? I didn't... I just kept running. Oh, man. Man, Silent Hill is messed up. Oh, hey, it's the save point. It's weird. The other save points looked like they were, like, the other save points were really red, almost like they were glowing, and this one just looks like someone just drew it with blood. Yeah, it looks faded. It looks like someone made their own save point. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. RPG where you have to craft your own save points. Make it. What? This is insane. It's, yeah, it's terrible. So far... Because would it, like... Articulate to me the difference between items and supplies. Oh, no, no. What I was going to say is so far we have used, um, like... We've used cleaning supplies to kill moths. 
and now we're using a bloody vice to just crack open a walnut. Yeah, like she's got a pipe. <laughs> he has a lead pipe. Do you think you're supposed to put that in the uh, the moon door? Yes. Because you tried to do that before, but you hadn't cracked the walnut. Gross. Let's just save again. Yeah, why not? Oh, it stopped checking your memory card. I think it does that once. No, it did it a couple times. I th I mean, I think it might do it once every time you turn on the game. Or like once... I don't know. That other... Uh, that other save file is just from the second time that I played. Hmm. That's how this music sounds. Perfectly right. Hmm. Oh, let's go unlock this door. If you can. Yay. Wait, go through it. No. Why not? They've already been there. That's just back. Ha 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 ha. He got you good. No, he didn't. He missed me. Other places to explore. That is closed off, I guess. Um, I can't go this way? It looks like you just gotta go back the way you came to that room. Thing. Yeah, I just want to be thorough. Wait, he's got your number. Ah! There's two dogs. And there's two sp spinny hornets. Alright. I think we're good. 